Hey everyone, I'm Tara from Seattle Coffee Gear. If you're a subscriber and you haven't turned on your bell notifications yet, go do that. Then you'll know every time we drop a new video. Plus, you'll be the first to know about our sales and discounts. Following the launch of the tiny but mighty Solus Barista Profeta, Solus has released the brand new all-in-one semi-automatic espresso machine, the Solus Grind and Infuse Perfetta. This machine has everything you need to start and continue your home brewing journey. Don't be intimidated by an espresso machine like this because it's made for ease of use and has all the features you'll need to brew really, really good espresso at home. If you didn't watch our last video about this machine, make sure to watch that video first. The link is in the description. All right, let's walk through tips and tricks for getting the most out of your Solus Grind and Infuse. First, you'll want to place the double shot basket into the portafilter and install the hopper according to the manual. Don't forego those manuals, everybody. We all know that there are manual readers and non-manual readers out there. Don't be the latter. Go ahead and set the grinder setting to five and then add coffee to the hopper. Make sure the hopper gate is open while you do this though. You'll want to grind some coffee into the portafilter to check to see if it seems fine enough. Then go ahead and dump that out. To complete the setup, purge some water out of the brew group and steam wand to ensure the hydraulic circuits are filled. So first you're gonna to wanna to turn the machine on. The button is on the bottom right side of the machine. When the button is blinking, you can get started. Tap the shot button to run hot water through the portafilter to preheat. This is always good to do so you can set yourself up for success, but be sure to dry the portafilter before you start. Grind a few grams of coffee from the grinder to purge out any stale grind. This will allow you to use the freshness of the whole beans in your hopper. Then tamp the coffee. If you need help with your tamping, check out our tamping mistakes video. Then lock in the portafilter and hit the double shot button to start brewing. Watch the brew as it comes through your portafilter. Does the stream look consistent and does it flow evenly? If so, you're good to go. When the shot is done pulling, take your portafilter out, knock the puck into your bin, make sure that you have this ready. Clean the portafilter with rinsed water, either from your machine or your sink, and set the machine into steam mode. This will get you ready to steam your milk right away before your espresso cools. Once the light stops blinking, purge the condensation from the steam wand and then steam the milk. We have a ton of info on how to steam milk properly, so go check out our YouTube shorts. While the steam is not gonna blow you away, it's more than capable of creating barista quality textured milk. Just be patient and learn how to steam your milk well. When finished, wipe the wand off, purge the milk from the wand by turning the steam on again, and then once clean, turn off the steam mode. Maybe you wanna do some latte art. We have some videos soon dropping on our channel for that as well. A few pro tips. When adjusting the grind finer, always adjust while you're grinding your coffee to avoid damaging the grinder or causing a clog. If you find that you can't grind fine enough, the grind range can be adjusted when the hopper is removed and the burr assembly is taken out. To program a shot, press and hold the shot button for the entire duration of that shot, once the desired shot volume or mass has been reached. Then let go of the button, press the program button to save the setting, and note that the program shot volumes are not preserved when the machine is unplugged. Another pro tip, to set the brew temperature, tap the program button, press the single shot button, rotate the grind time knob to adjust the value up or down, and then press program again to save the setting. Seems complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. In general, the default setting will be good for most coffees. For darker roasts, reduce the temperature. For lighter roasts, increase the temperature. This is a trick you can use for most semi-automatic espresso machines. We hope this helps you perfect your shot pulling with your Solus Grinded Infuse and maybe gives you more hacks for brewing better coffee at home with other machines as well. Learn more about the Solus Grinded Infuse and the other Solus Espresso gear by clicking the link in the description. And if you have any questions, chat with our team online at seattlecoffeegear.com. And for those who like a discount, which who are we kidding? We all love discounts. Go sign up for our email newsletter and get 10% off one item on our site. Exclusions to apply to that, so learn more in the description below. Enjoy brewing on this amazing machine and we'll see you in the next video. If you're still watching right now, you can get a Solus Grind and Infuse from seattlecoffeegear.com for $150 off. So go get one for only $5.99. Head to the link in the description to learn more.